ANC mourns the passing of former ANC Youth League Secretary General Cindy Somakatla. Magatla succumbed to injuries sustained in a shooting incident in July and passed away earlier yesterday. He and two colleagues were shot and wounded in an ambush in southern KwaZulu Natal in July. His car was peppered with at least a dozen bullets. Magatla, a former student leader, rose to national prominence after being elected ANC Youth League Secretary General in June 2011 as part of the top six with then President Julius Malema. He was suspended from the party for a year in 2012 following a series of defiant statements statements made against senior party leaders. Eventually returning to the party fold and was deployed as a councillor in the Umzim Kulu municipality in KwaZulu-Natal. We're now joined on the phone line by ANC KZ10 Provincial Secretary Supa Zuma. Mr. Zuma, very good morning to you, if we can still say it's a good morning. Some very disturbing news of the passing of Cindy Somakata. What is the KwaZulu-Natal ANC making of this? Uh, good morning. Um, indeed, uh, uh we received shocking news uh, uh, last night. Uh, maybe let me start by uh, sending my condolences to the family of Comrade uh, Makak uh, and say uh, it's a very uh, sad day for us. We are shocked as the ANC in Wazulu Nata. As we have already said, he was ambushed in July this year. He was admitted. Uh, when he was admitted, admitted he was under very uh, critical uh, um, uh, stage. Uh, but uh, his life improved uh, drastically when he, he was in the hospital. Uh, he was recovering very well. We were hoping that he might be, uh, he would be, I mean, uh, been released uh, or, uh, uh, been very soon. Whilst mm -hmm. we were expecting uh, for his discharge, now we are getting this news that he is yes, um, uh, passed on. Mm, no, it's, just, it's come as a shock to even us as society in general because we all thought he was on the mend, that he was recovering. I don't know if you're privy to intimate details of what exactly happened. Was there complications specifically from the bullet wounds or what exactly happened? In, no, we are told that the day before yesterday he, uh, in the, uh, he complained about the stomach ache and uh, he, uh, he was uh, readmitted in the ICU uh, uh, trying to stabilize him uh, then uh, the, thereafter he, he, he passed on. It's, uh, we, we are not sure whether that was related to uh, in the, in the wounds that he has but it's uh, something that we, uh, we think uh, we are still going to get explanation as to what happened because he, as we are saying uh, uh, we we were monitoring him. He was recovering very well. Uh, he, he really, he, 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 when, when you think about uh, what happened when he was admitted and, uh, and what happened now, you, you wouldn't uh, I mean, uh, connect what is it uh, that happened. Now, Mr. Zuma, we cannot speak in isolation about the death of Makata without talking about political killings in case of ten or violence uh, around political figures or what some would say are any, not necessarily political, but just public figures in general. What exactly is happening in case of ten when it comes to violence? Because here we've got a commission that's still ongoing, but now the likes of Cindy So has even lost his life. It's something that uh, are failing to explain. Uh, you, 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 as you, you recall, that uh, prior to August 3, a number of our candidates were, were, were killed. Uh, and after August 3, uh, I mean, a number of councillors have been killed uh, in a manner that is uh, very sophisticated because uh, uh, we have been calling for investigations. There is a task team uh, of the province uh, formed by the MEC, uh, there is a task team. Uh, uh, national task team, uh, which was uh, brought by uh, the minister Mbalula in terms of intervening, because uh, we, we mean, uh, it's very difficult to get to the bottom of the uh, issues uh, doing killing this because these these people have I mean, uh, I mean killing them in a very sophisticated manner and they are destroying even evidence. It is us as the ANC uh, who also uh, said uh, uh, the crime must. Uh, uh, form a, a commission of uh, inquiry 
just to get to the bottom of the issues. But uh, it, it's, it's clear we're not uh, I mean, uh, getting there where, where, where we thought we would be. Uh, it's a situation where we are saying, uh, let's investigate. Uh, if there are people within the organization who are dealing, uh, doing this, those, will be, uh, those are uh, criminal elements who need to be isolated. Mm-hmm. But also, we are mm-hmm. saying we don't want to rule out now what mm-hmm. was happening prior to 1994 uh, during the apartheid mm-hmm. uh, 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 era, where in KwaZulu Natal was used for violence. We had sponsored violence. Uh, we think, uh, uh, no, certainly, uh, certainly Mr. Number. Zuma. I think the violence there perhaps needs a second Cordessa if we could have a, a day where we specify and decide to talk about the violence there and perhaps elsewhere in the country. But thank you very much for joining us. That's Provincial Secretary uh, of KZN ANC, Mr. Super.